Good morning, everybody. Um, it's a beautiful morning. And um, I, I, I wanted to make this video because this is going to be a video. Uh, this I'm not going to make a couple of videos for um, a good while to the delight of a lot of people. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to share uh, something that happened last night. I was watching a documentary uh, on Muhammad Ali and it was with uh it was dealing with uh him being exiled for standing up uh for his uh position of not going to fight in a war um in the Vietnam War and how he was stripped of his title and basically stripped of his livelihood and how he came back uh this particular uh segment was uh the fight against George Foreman and as I was watching the documentary, my mind was saying, you're looking at a man. And my mind was saying that because there is not too many figures out here today that I, my, that when I look at them and see them, that my mind registers and said, hey, you're looking at a man. Um, and it was, it, it, it was, it was a, it was a telling story um, I mean, I, I know the story, but to see it again and to see it from a different point of view or a different light, and they had this 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 white guy. I don't know if he was in Ali's training corner or uh, a reporter, but they said that everybody had feared that George Foreman was going to kill Muhammad Ali because he was destroying everybody, Joe Frazier, Ken Norton, everybody in the ring. And um, he said... Even the people who were cheering Ali on had a fear that Ali wasn't going to win and that he George Foreman was going to kill him in the, in, in the ring. He said, everybody feared but Ali. This is a white dude now. And he said the reason he did not have that fear because the most honorable Elijah Muhammad had told Ali that George Foreman had something but that Ali had God. And I said, wow. And I heard a great teacher say that if God is with you, then who can be against you? Like, who can be against you? Uh, and I realized that a man has to stand up and be a man. That a man makes sacrifices. Um, you know, Jesus said be in the world but not be of the world you know a man and or a woman or you know like when you when you stand up and you you differentiate yourself especially from being in this world it it shows it shines on that person um so uh and then i is this i was watching spider-man uh far away from home uh Spider-Man had stopped the villain and this and that. And he asked the guy as the guy was dying. He said, why did you do this? And the guy said, he said, people, we live in a time where people want to believe. I, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, this is, this is not what he said verbatim. But he said, people want to believe. And he said, you know, today people believe anything. You know, and that's the that's where we at. People will believe anything. They don't they don't research. They don't um, they're like sheep. And uh, so I, I've been making a lot of comments derogatory towards Ben Simmons, and I'm going to take down those videos um, because I'm wrong. And I'm vain. I'm being vain in, in doing so. Um, I even watch the videos over and listen to what I'm saying. Like I'm, 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 I'm totally a vain person. Um, because there's no way that I should be bashing Ben Simmons uh, publicly like that, despite my feelings. And I am being in my feelings and emotion. But he's a man. He's a. He's a. He. He's a. He's. A, he's a, He's created by God just like me, right? And everybody has the opportunity to 
um, improve and better themselves as long as they got breath in their life. Their testament is not done. Um, so I want to apologize for my comments. I want to apologize for those who listen to my derogatory comments. I want to apologize to those who admired or liked my comments. Um, they were foolish, and I'm admitting that. And uh, I'm taking them down, and uh, I, I realize that I have to do better, and I'm going to try to do better and try to grow um, before I pass this lifetime um, growing to becoming a man.